Hi everyone, my name is Ibel Grey Kantoma from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me on any of these numbers, okay? Um, I'm glad to announce to you that in Quick Civil Series, you can actually import your drawings, okay? Because I get a lot of questions as regards to that. People asking if one can import a drawing or not. Yes, you can. You can import your drawing if you come to new project and i click on yes if i click apply this i will come to import drawing dxf file so once i click on this you can see this menu that is popping up now it's just an instruction explaining to us you know uh it's always guide you on whatever step you want to take now the software is telling us that uh, the software reads just lines polylines polygons and rectangles okay so if you import your normal drawing into uh, quick civil series it will not recognize it okay it will it will but it's going to look somehow and you will not be able to arrange it okay because it recognizes just your lines in order for you to have it perfectly well arranged it has to be in lines rectangles polygons okay uh, I think in previous versions you can it recognizes cycles as well so you represent your column in form of a cycle um, so what the software only recognize is when you have uh, just a single line uh, like this now let me show you something quickly now you can see this is a general arrangement which i use uh, to import in sorry uh, i'm going to take this out take this out take this out okay so i'm going to save this drawing Yes. So I will save it 2007DXF. Uh, save. Yes. So I'm going to close it. Now you can see if you check that drawing, you will see a rectangular shape. Let's just import it so that uh, you will be able to understand what I'm saying. So if I come back to it and I will accept yes and then I'm going to look for that drawing this is it and I'll click open now you can see it has come out very clean here so all I need to do now is just to insert my panel so I'll insert my panel you can see my panel has been inserted perfectly okay I'll insert another panel here perfect I'll insert another here but uh, if perfect so make sure you trace it to the edge here in order for it to come out clean like this or else it's going to come out somehow for you and you will not be able to manage it Okay, so I'm just going to do for just this. This is okay. Uh, just to demonstrate what I want to do. So you can see I have imported my general arrangement. And as you can see, the only thing I use here is just lines. These are just lines. And you can see the line. This shape is a rectangular shape. Okay. So this shape is a rectangular shape and all the lines has to be joined to each other. Okay. So this one has to touch this. Okay. And it should not extend outside. Okay. So let it be joined, connected and it should, there should be no extension. Okay. So once you have this like this, that is all you are done. Then you can just create beam slab okay so you can see our column positions our beams have been inserted automatically okay 
so but in the previous video i i showed you how you can actually delete some columns uh delete some beams okay so you can manually delete them because the software always introduces column wherever you have an intersection of two beams so wherever there is an intersection of a beam the the software will automatically introduce uh, a, a support a column there okay so you have to be very careful at that point so once you are able to achieve to this point all you need to do is just to copy this drawing uh, copy the floors to whatever number of floors which I have already explained in the previous uh, videos uh, if you copy like this you can see the columns are now displaying properly and you apply click yes and then I'll close so I may not really go into so much detail explaining because the major uh, point I really needed to point out I have already explained that which is how to uh, import your drawing so the moment you do all of that you can come to your view as well and see this in 3d so i don't know i think my columns are are very very high <laughs> i would have to reduce the height of these columns i think they are very high these columns are high problems are very high they are very very high so you can go back to your modeling view and you know I will correct that let's come to modeling so once I'm done with this I can just go straight to my automatic design if everything is okay in the automatic design you can specify sizes of reinforcement the heights you know all the necessary cross sections of all your structural members okay so we are going to be correcting all of that there so yes you know you can see the software is as simple as that actually very simple as simple as that uh, I will accept this okay you can see my previous settings I did on the software is still reflecting so i don't even need to type in okay now let's see our column size 225 by 225 minimum circular yeah and then maximum width maximum circular okay click on okay just going to accept this and click okay Uh, I'll be using 350 here. Oh, shit. I. No problem. It's not a problem anyway. I wanted changing the size of that foot in there. But I've already accepted it. So. Um, Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to print all this. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay. So I'm going to talk about this. Let's check our columns. View uh, detailing column, column type one. Let's see this. I'm going to talk about this column can see the height of this column is very very high it's very very high so uh, it's from the settings from the beginning I'm supposed to have specified the height of each of the stories okay so if you don't specify the height of your story uh, it's going to be a problem for you 
you can see this is 9450 it's very very high actually very high I can so you have to um, you have to do all of that from the beginning while you are actually uh, imputing all those uh, cross sections and height of your stories and all that in your design from the beginning okay so you have to really uh, put all that in place from the beginning before you start designing proper okay so um that is that okay let me just quickly demonstrate what i'm saying if you try to start a new project like this you can see here you are supposed to have made it three meters okay so whatever height if it is three meters or whatever is the height that uh, the architect has actually used in his drawing that is the height you have to maintain okay so if you love this video just give it a thumbs up okay subscribe to the channel is actually free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design make sure you stay safe and stay blessed